Welcome guys, it is our Saturday workout. Um, we wanted to give you guys a little bit of a longer style workout today um, in replace of those partner workouts we normally do. Uh, we got an awesome group, Coach Tommy Carter, Coach Gav, Coach Tommy Palm. Um, before we get into the workout, let's get into the warm up. Uh, we're gonna bring you back to your high school days. Uh, we're gonna start with just a very simple warm up. We're gonna be doing some up downs. The whole time you're gonna be chopping your feet. Okay, very nice. And if I say down, you're gonna go down, you're gonna give me a burpee, hop up. As soon as you stop, pop up, you start chopping the feet. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start this thing up in three, two, one, and we're moving. If I say down, remember you go down. And down, and back up the top of the feet. Okay, nice and easy, we're just gonna get the heart rate up. Nothing like some burpees to start off the day. Down, down. Very good. And down. Keep on moving, keep on moving. Right back up. I know this is a start way to, it's a tough way to start off the day, but we're getting going. Nice and effective. Down. Chopping. Down. Chopping. Come on, keep it up. Down. Good, almost there. Come on, stay with me now. A few more reps. Down. Chopping. Down. Chopping. Come on. Three more. Down. Chop. Down. Chop. Down. All right. Nice and easy. Let me catch my breath and I'll give you guys this workout. Whew. Oh, yeah. So, we got a cool workout. Like I said, going to be a longer style today. Um, so before I show you, let me explain. We're going to be going for 25 minutes, okay? You're going to be working for 30 seconds, then you're going to be resting for 20. Okay, that's going to come out to 30 intervals of 30 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, 25 minutes. Okay, so 30 rounds of 30 on, 20 off. What it's going to be is a chipper style. So we're going to be moving along. So let me explain. We're going to go as many rounds as we can in 25 minutes. You're going to have 70 hops over the dumbbell, 60 dumbbell back squats, 50 Russian swing, 40 side to side push ups, and then 30 reverse sit ups. When you finish this sit up, you go back to the hops over the dumbbell as many times as you can in 25 minutes. But once again, you can only work during 30 seconds and then you have 20 seconds of rest. So now that I've said that 30 on 20 off, what I want you to understand is you're getting a very good chunk of rest, okay? You're resting more than half the time you're working. So when you're working, you gotta be blitzing it, okay? You're going and working the entire 30 seconds at a fast pace. So let's go over these movements. The first one we're gonna go over is gonna be the hop over the dumbbell. Very simple, just watch Coach Tommy C, okay? Very simple, a two-footed hop, you land. As soon as your feet land, you're trying to hop back over. Um, something I don't want you to do is to absorb that jump. So I don't want you to jump, land, jump, try to stay on the balls of your feet. Once again, keep on moving, okay? You'll be doing 70 of those, 35 on each side. Uh, if you have a kettlebell at home, Coach Gav, he's gonna jump over it. Um, if you wanna just like step behind the kettlebell and hop left to right or pick a line on the floor, that's perfectly fine. We don't want you getting hurt, all right? The next movement is gonna be 60 back squats. So check out Coach Tommy Carter, okay? He's gonna bring the dumbbell and he's gonna bring it to the back shoulders, okay? See how one hand is on each side of the dumbbell, okay? He's got his feet shoulder with the part, toes are uh, pointed forwards. He's gonna drive his hips back and straight down. Once he reaches the bottom, he's gonna extend at the top. Notice at the top of the rep, he goes down, the knees are locked out, the hips are fully extended. Very nice. If you don't have a dumbbell, no worries. Check out Coach Gavin for me. Okay, we're gonna be doing a goblet squat. So he's gonna have one hand, uh, both hands wrapped around the kettlebell, pressed against his chest, shoulder blades are down and back. Okay, he's gonna squat the same exact way. Drives the knees out, fully extends the hips at the top. So you'll be doing goblet squats if you have a kettlebell. Okay, if you don't like putting the dumbbell on your back, you're more than welcome to do it that way with the dumbbell. The next one we're gonna go over is gonna be Russian swings. Um, the kettlebell is pretty simple with the swing if you know it. For the dumbbell, it can be a little challenging. Uh, just check out Coach Tommy real quick. It looks a little more awkward and is a little more challenging with the dumbbell. Just a few reps. Notice, slight bend of the knee, he drives the hips and butt back, okay? 
He has a nice flat back and he's following the dumbbell with his eyes, okay? Um, how he's doing that is he's wrapping his hands somewhat like this around the handle of the dumbbell. Um, I, I believe that's the best way of doing it with the dumbbell for the swing today, okay? If you have a kettlebell, just a couple quick reps, they look like this. Okay, watch again, slight bend to the knee, focusing on fully extending the hips and locking out the quads, and that bell is gonna go right to eye level, all right? So that is gonna be the Russian swing. We have two more movements to go over. This next one is gonna be a side-to-side -side push push-up. It looks really cool. Check out Coach Tommy. So the first push-up before he does any, he's in his normal push-up stance. He's facing forwards for us right now, okay? He's gonna do a push-up, chest touch the floor, fully extends the arms. Now watch, he's gonna move his hands, replace that hand, and do another push-up. Good, now he's coming back and he's in the middle, push up, and now he's gonna go to the right. So you're just replacing your hand and moving side to side. If you're doing them on your knees, it's the same exact thing. Okay, and then the final movement for today is going to be the reverse sit up. Okay, they look like this. Um, Coach Gavin will be laying flat on his back. He's gonna have his hands wrapped around the kettlebell. His legs start fully extended. He bends his knees, brings his knees all the way to his chest, hips come off the floor, and then he fully extends. That's one, two, three. That's called the reverse sit-up. You'll be doing 30 of those. Thank you. So once again, guys, we're going to be going for 30 intervals today at 30 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. And you're going to move through those movements as many times as you can in the 25 minutes. All right. So 30 total intervals. Let's get to this thing. We're starting with the hops over the dumbbell. I'm going to give you guys a 10 second countdown and that will start now. Let's do it. All right. Once again, you got to be working during these 30 seconds in five, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, very good. Once again, try not to absorb that jump, okay? As soon as your feet touch the floor, you wanna jump right back over the dumbbell. You wanna be constantly moving, okay? It's much better for your knees and ankles if you can stay on the balls of your feet. Very good, we have 10 more seconds now. In. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Nice. 52 reps for both of them. All right, they got 18 more to go. All right, they're moving well right there at the same time, okay? So like you said, you saw them, the full 30 seconds, they were just moving. All right, now we have 20 seconds of rest, just about a little over five more to go. We're back on, we're starting where we left off in three, two, one, let's go. Nice, guys. As they finish up these reps, the next move they're gonna go to is that back squat or the goblet squat. Watch Tommy brings it to his chest, then brings it onto his shoulders. They have 15 seconds. Gav is doing the goblet squat. If you have a kettlebell at home or think the back squat is awkward, check out Coach Gavin. They're looking good, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice. Still, all right? <laughs> Coach Tommy, check him out. He's keeping the dumbbells on his shoulder right now. Um, if you're doing goblet squats, I would put it on the floor. Tom's challenging himself and keeping it on the back right now, all right? Um, but it is easier. Three, two, one, let's go. If you are doing the back squat, all right, the difference between the two is just where it's racked, right? Anything that's gonna be racked on the back, you're gonna feel a little bit stronger, so it is a little bit lighter probably than if you're doing the goblet squat. All right, the reason he kept it on his back the whole time was just so that he didn't have to pick it up and put it back down then, just because that transition takes a little bit longer than the goblet squat. We have 10 seconds. In, five, three, two, one, and rest. Nice. Where are you at? 29. 29, nice, they're moving. All right, um, we got 31 more squats, guys. Very good, three intervals in so far, I believe. All right, we got 27 more to go. All right, so keep it on up. We have 10 seconds. Oh, go, sorry. My mistake, guys. <laughs> I was thinking 30. We're on it. Nice, Gav. Good job, Tom. Good. Notice that their knees track over their toes really well, guys. Um, that's super important. That's probably the biggest thing that you should be focused on whenever you're squatting. Range of motion is great, but if your knees start to cave, because you're going too low as you stand up, um, I would definitely limit my range of motion. In three, two, one, and rest. Nice, yeah, Tom got one in there. Cool. Yeah, 45, 47, 
All right, Tom's got 13 more, Gav's got 15 more. Almost there, Tom's lugging around that 60 pounder today. Gav's got a heavy kettlebell as well, 53. All right, we're finishing up these squats probably in five, three, two, one, let's go. Yeah. Nice. Okay, if you're doing those goblet squats at home, check out Coach Gav. He's pressing that bell right against his chest, tucked right underneath the chin. That's where you want to hold it. That's where it's going to be the most secure position for you to feel strong in these squats. Nice. 10 seconds, guys. Tom's done. He's going into those 50 Russian swings. That's the transition right there, if I've seen one. In three, two, one, and rest. Nice. Nice. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. 50 Russian swings to complete now for these two. Okay, if you're a little behind, no big deal. Just finish up your movement in three, two, one, let's go. Okay, another big thing to focus on for the Russian swing is just driving your hips backwards and then through at the top. Hips back, hips forward, hips back, hips forward. All right, you don't want to be squatting at any point. Another thing to focus on where people miss a little bit is just locking out the quads at the top of the swing. Really focus on squeezing those quads and locking out the knees. Almost there, guys. In five, three, two, one, and rest. Nice. Very good, very good. All right, we got 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Good. Okay, we are at interval seven now, guys. Keeping it on up, we are looking good. Sick gap, shot Tom. Focus on keeping that bell close to your hips. You don't want it to sink too low to the floor. That's gonna put extra pressure on your back, okay? So make sure it's going right between the legs, right underneath your hips, all right? You guys got five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice, nice. All right. They are almost done with those swings. They're finishing them up. Once they do, they will begin those side-to-side -side push push-ups. We're gonna be starting in five, three, two, one, let's go. Interval eight, guys. Nice, Gavin, good job, guys. Nice, Tom. Tom is done with those swings. He's now moving on to the side-to-side -side push push-ups. Once again, check out his hand placement. You're replacing your opposite hand with the one you're moving towards. So if you're moving to the right, okay, your left hand replaces your right hand. If you're moving to the left, your right hand replaces the left. Every time you go back to the middle. In five, three, two, one, and rest, okay? Very good, guys. Something to focus on, okay, during these 20 seconds of rest that you're getting, okay, just trying to relax the breathing a little bit, but let your body breathe how it wants to. If it wants to breathe heavy, let it. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and go. Very good. Each rep, okay, you wanna be focusing on your chest touching the floor, okay, and fully extending the arm at the top, okay? Make sure you lock out your arms before you start to move, okay? You don't wanna be moving and locking your arm out at the same time. They fully extend and then walk. 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, and rest, nice. Very good. Okay, um, if you're getting close to those sit-ups right now, you wanna make sure you have your dumbbell or kettlebell near this way um, when you have to go to the reverse sit-ups to help you anchor down. Okay, here we go. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Nice, guys, good job. Okay, this is round 10 right now, okay? Um, if you want to think of it as rounds, we're doing 30, right? So we're about a third of the way through right now. You guys are looking good. They're pretty close to finishing one round, so they're projected probably to finish about two and a half rounds at the moment. All right, here we go. In five, three, two, one, and rest. Nice. One more. Nice. 
Okay. Tom's got one more push up, gathers onto those reverse sit ups. All right. We have five seconds. Three, two, one, begin. Good. So notice at the top of the rep, okay, for the sit up, his legs are fully extended. Then he bends his knees, brings his hips off the floor. Just think of bringing your knees to your chest. Nice, Tom. Very good. Yeah, guys, nice job. 10 more seconds. In five, three, two, one. Rest. Nice. Nice. Good. Good job, guys. They're feeling the reverse sit ups, is what they're saying. So if you're not feeling them at home, Okay, do your best to try to focus on squeezing that core, really crunching, okay, and pulling that belly button down. Here we go in three, two, one, and begin. They'll probably be finishing up their reverse sit-ups. We're doing a total of 30, which is the smallest set for today. As soon as they finish these 30, they're immediately gonna go to those 70 hops over the dumbbell. Good job, guys. Nice, Gav, good job, Tom. All right, and Tom, uh, Gav and Tom are almost through the sit-ups in three, two, one, and rest. Nice, Tom got through them, Gav got a couple extra reps. Uh, if you guys wanna move your dumbbells up forwards. Nice. Okay, they have 10 more seconds. And we're back onto those hops. Three, two, one, and go. For some people, this can be a very awkward movement. Um, trying to rebound and hop as soon as your uh, feet touch the other side can be challenging. Um, I would tell you if that's the case for this workout, um, not to step over the dumbbell, but to just jump over anything or just chop your feet side to side. Uh, we're trying to get your heart rate up right now, okay? So the steps won't really accomplish that. In three, two, one, rest. Nice, nice guys. We're looking good. Okay, 10 more seconds. Keep pushing, keep pushing. In three, two, one, go. Nice, guys. 70 hops over the dumbbell. They're both done and going into those squats. This, to me, is probably the stickiest part of the workout. Grinding through this second round of 60 is gonna be no joke. All right, stay with me now. In five, three, two, one, rest. Very nice. Tom's still keeping that dumbbell on the shoulders. You do not have to do that at home, but if you do wanna limit the amount of time you're resting and actually working, I would recommend doing that myself. Okay, here we go. In five, Three, two, one, let's go. Nice, guys. Okay, um, something to also focus on is if you watch both of them, okay, their chest rises as they come out of the squat. It's not hips first and then chest up, okay? Their chest initiates coming up. Um, really focus on pushing your belly button through and squeezing your butt. You got five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Uh, I have 20 seconds. I do want to just mention that if you're someone where you squat and your hips come up first, you're putting a lot of stress on your lower back, okay? You want to stand with that chest. So try to focus on that, guys, if you feel it in your back, okay? In five, three, two, one, begin. Good. We are now over the hump. Round 16 has begun. Good, squeeze the butt, push the belly button through. Good. Got 10 more seconds now. In five, three, two, one, done. Nice, nice.
be putting in that work right now. I know if you're on these squats, it is tough. Get through the squats in three, two, one. Let's get it, let's get it. There it is. Okay, keep grinding away. Focus on your breathing at every rep. You should be breathing. Tommy's going right into those swings. He's done with the 60. There it is, right to eye level, focusing on extending the hips. Five, come on, Gab. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice, guys. Nice job, Gab. Job, Tom. We got 10 more seconds now. We're getting two plus in three, two, one. Let's go. Nice job, Gav. Yeah, nice transition, my man. Good. There it is. Holding on to this dumbbell, guys. So far, they have been working the entire time during these 30 seconds. They have not rested during it. They've only used the 20 seconds that has been given then to them to rest. In three, two, one. Good. That's how it's supposed to be, guys. All right, we're giving you that rest so you can work the full 30. Keep it on up, keep it on up. Well, we have 10 more seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. Come on now, come on now. There it is, there it is. Good, come on, keep pushing now. That's it, we're holding on to that dumbbell and kettlebell, everybody. 10 more seconds. In five, three, two, one, good. All right, if you finish those swings and you're moving along with Tom, you could bring that dumbbell to the back. Get ready for those first sit-ups when the time comes. We have 10 more seconds. Tommy's on the push-up. Gavin is finishing up his swings. In five, three, two, one, go. Nice. Yeah, Gav, let's go, buddy. There you go, my man. There you go. Interval 20, guys. We are there now. We are there now. Keep fighting. These last 10 rounds is where we get better. Yeah, nice, Tom. 10 seconds. There it is. In. Three, two, one, rest. All right, guys, when you're doing those push-ups, make sure you fully extend, then walk, okay? Fully extend, then walk. We got 10 seconds. In, three, two, one, go. Why this is so good is because although you're doing 40 push-ups, other than that, you have to move your hands and walk around. It just requires you to stay in that position longer, okay, which just taxes your shoulders a little bit more. That's why this can get so much tougher than just your standard push-up. We have 10 more seconds now. Come on, come on, Gav, let's go, Tom, come on. In five, three, two, one. Nice, nice. Oh, oh yeah, we're there. We're there. This is the part of the workout where you want to stop. This is the part of the workout where you got to keep going. All right, come on. In five, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice. Round 22. Round 22, they are finishing up these push-ups. I think Tom will get them through. Gavin will be right behind, if not right with him. There it is, come on now, come on now. Come on now. Stay up with me, 10 seconds. Tom is going through the reverse sit-ups. Gavin is probably not too far behind. He moves on push-ups in five, three, two, one. Good. Yeah, nice job, Gavin. Good job, Tom. You guys are there. Let's get it. Let's get it. 
where we got fitter right here, guys. These last few rounds, where we got fitter. In five, three, two, one, begin. There it is. Okay, if you're on those reverse sit-ups with the coaches, remember, those legs fully extend at the bottom of the rep, and then your hips come on off the floor. You're driving your those hands wrapped around the dumbbell or kettlebell. Okay, don't let your feet touch the floor. In five, three, two, one, rest. Nice, nice. It's gonna be fun to watch these guys finish with some squats. That's probably where they're gonna end up to finish this workout. All right, here we go. In five, three, two, one, begin. Round 24. Good. Okay, Tom is moving on to those hops. Okay, he's moving it up to the front just so he can be positioned well and ready to go. I like it. That's it, Gav, get those done. Get those done, Gav. Keep moving, buddy. There it is. 10 seconds, guys. In five, three, two, one, and rest. Nice. Okay, they are officially both completed two rounds. All right, let's see where they end up in this one. Okay, with just about five more intervals to go. I believe this will be round 25, so six total. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Six more intervals to go. This is the 25th round. Still moving like it's round one on these hops. Putting on a show right now, moving well. We got 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, rest. There go the Mechons. There go the Mechons. The shoelaces. Doug Sr. is laughing in his living room right now. In two. One, let's go, come on. Round 26, let's get it. Pounds on the back squats. Let's see how far he can get into this round. I think he can get the swings done, we'll see though. We'll see. Come on, that's it Gav, let's go baby, let's go baby, come on. There it is, start squatting, here we go. Boom, nice. Yup. 10 seconds, we're there. In, five, three, two, one, rest. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. 10 seconds. Feeling in the legs in five, three, two, one. Let's get it. Round 27. Remember, squeeze the butt, push the belly button through. Don't cut us short now. You're getting stronger right now. Let's go. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. In. Three, two, one. Rest. Yeah. Yeah. Ten seconds, guys. Good work. In three, two, one. Let's go. There it is. Come on. Ten seconds, we're finishing up round 28. Get through these squats. Come on, let's go, Tom. In. Come on, five. Keep working. Let's go. Three, two, one. Yeah, Tom. Nice. Two more rounds, guys. Two more rounds. 
10 seconds. In five, three, two, one. Let's go. Tom's got two rounds to get through these swings. Gad's yeah, definitely getting through these squats. Let's see how many swings he can get in. Let's go, Gad. You got to get through it this round. Come on, buddy. Nice. There it is. Holding on. We're holding on now. Hell yeah, guys. Hell yeah. Keep pushing. 10 seconds. In. Five. Three. Two. One. Oh, yeah. We have one more round to go now, guys. Time to empty the tank. When we finish this round, don't go anywhere. Join me in that cool down stretch. We got 10 seconds. In. Three. Two, one, let's go. This is it. This is it. Last 30 seconds of work for the day. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. 15 seconds. You better hold on. Come on. Get them done. Nice, Gav. 10 seconds. Let's go. Hold it on, Tom. In. Five. Three. Two, one, and rest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. That's 25 minutes of work right there. We know you cardio junkies love those longer workouts. We gave it to you here today in a different style than you would normally see. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, before you go anywhere, if you need to get a quick drink, more than welcome to wipe yourself down with a towel, whatever it may be. Um, and then we're going to go into a nice cool down stretch. All right. So um, I'm going to let them recover for about 30 seconds. I'll let the same do to you. Uh, we're going to be focusing on some uh, lower back stuff, some hip stuff, um, just to get you feeling good. Uh, make sure nothing feels tight in an hour or two, um, especially since a lot of us are probably sitting at home, um, include myself included. You want to make sure you're stretching out your hips, being in that position for long periods of time can definitely do some damage, all right? Take a few more seconds to yourself, relax your breathing, and we'll get into this cool down stretch. Nice job, guys. Very good. All right, so the first stretch we're going to come into, uh, just so it's easy, everyone will lay flat on their back. Um, I've talked, if you've been following us along, throughout these home workout series. This is my favorite stretch. We're gonna do the iron cross, but I like to pull my knee into me and then across my body while trying to keep my shoulders down. It's a great stretch for the lower back and hips. I do it every single day, um, especially when my back's feeling tight. This helps alleviate that tightness. We're just gonna hold. Okay, you wanna make sure that your shoulders are on the floor. Okay, you don't want that shoulder to come off. And you're just pushing that knee into the floor. Feel a nice stretch in the glute as well. Okay, you'll switch up the leg. seconds here. Okay, good. Sit on up for me. Okay, we're going to spread out our legs nice and wide here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is just going to reach on forward. It's a good stretch for the low back and hamstrings. Tuck the chin. Okay, point the toes towards you. There's a reach nice and forward. Take a couple deep breaths. As you exhale, try to drive deeper into that stretch. Good, walk your hands to the left now. Okay, now to the right. Okay, now I want everyone to come to all fours for me. 
We're gonna rotate between cat and cow, pressing your upper back to the ceiling, and then arching the low back and pulling your chin up. When you're doing these, what I want you to focus on doing is when you're pushing your upper back to the ceiling, pushing all the air out of your stomach. And then arch that back and pull that chin nice and high, tuck the belly button. All right, guys, that's it for today. Awesome work. Uh, please like the video, subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. Have an awesome rest of your weekend. Rest up.